The universe is vast, it is filled with billions of galaxies, our galaxy the Milky Way is just one among them. On a small planet orbiting an average star, life took hold. This is the story of human evolution, a journey spanning millions of years, a testament to adaptation and survival. Our journey begins with our earliest primate ancestors, these creatures carried the seeds of what we would become. Driven by natural selection they evolved, new traits emerged, aiding survival. These traits shaped the lineage leading to us. Imagine a world without humans. Our lineage diverged from other primates. This split marks a pivotal moment in our history, from tree-dwelling primates to a species contemplating its existence. We share a common ancestor with all life on Earth. From insects to whales we are all connected. Our story is part of this larger narrative. Our primate ancestors were remarkably adaptable creatures, they possessed several key characteristics crucial for survival. One was their hands with opposable thumbs, allowing greater dexterity. This helped in foraging and navigating their arboreal world. Another adaptation was their vision. Forward-facing eyes granted stereoscopic vision. Enhanced depth perception was invaluable for judging distances. Over time, early primates evolved and diversified. Some remained small and agile. Others grew larger for protection. About 55 million years ago, the first true monkeys emerged. They had key adaptations like larger brains and specialized digestive systems. Monkeys thrived, spreading throughout Africa, Asia, and South America. Their success paved the way for the emergence of apes, our own lineage. Around 7 million years ago on the continent of Africa, a dramatic shift occurred in the lineage leading to humans. Our ancestors made the transition from moving about on all fours to walking upright on two legs. This shift to bipedalism was a defining moment in our evolutionary history. It freed our hands to use tools, carry objects, and eventually, to reshape the world around us. But what drove this change? Scientists believe that a combination of factors led to the evolution of bipedalism. One prominent theory points to the changing African landscape. As dense forests gave way to more open grasslands, our ancestors found themselves spending more time on the ground. In this environment, being able to see over tall grasses to spot predators or prey would have been advantageous. Standing upright provided a better vantage point. Additionally, walking on two legs proved to be more energy efficient for long distances than knuckle walking, the preferred mode of locomotion for our closest living relatives, chimpanzees and gorillas. The transition to bipedalism had profound effects on our anatomy. Our spines curved, our pelvises tilted, and our legs lengthened. These changes, occurring over millions of years, allowed for greater stability and efficiency in walking upright. However, bipedalism also came with its drawbacks. Our backs became more prone to injury, and childbirth became more complex due to the narrowing of the birth canal. Nevertheless, the advantages of bipedalism clearly outweighed the disadvantages, as evidenced by its success in our lineage. As our ancestors ventured out onto the African savanna, their brains began to undergo a remarkable transformation. Over millions of years the human brain increased in size and complexity, becoming the defining characteristic of our species. This expansion of brain size was accompanied by significant changes in its structure and organization. The cerebral cortex, responsible for higher-level cognitive functions such as language, reasoning and problem-solving, expanded dramatically. This increase in brain power allowed our ancestors to adapt to new environments, develop complex social structures, and ultimately, to think, learn, and communicate in ways that no other animal had done before. But this evolutionary advantage came at a cost. Larger brains require more energy to function, putting a strain on our metabolic resources. Childbirth also became more challenging, as infants' heads grew larger to accommodate their expanding brains. So, the benefits of intelligence had to outweigh these significant costs. And indeed they did. With their enhanced cognitive abilities, our ancestors were able to outcompete other species, securing access to resources and ensuring their survival in a changing world. This expansion of the brain wasn't simply about getting bigger, it was about the development of new connections within the brain, these connections formed between neurons allowed for faster and more complex communication within the brain. This led to the emergence of new cognitive abilities, such as abstract thought, symbolic representation, and the capacity for language. These abilities would prove to be essential for the development of culture, technology, and everything that makes us human. 